we got a question from social media. And I love this. If you have a topic that you want us um, to cover or a question you'd like us to answer, please send them because sometimes we um, are so far in the forest <laughs> that we don't know what information that you're looking for. So a woman wrote in and asked about lubricant. And I thought it was interesting that today on the front page of the guardian was a sex question. Someone wrote in and said, I'm very turned on by my partner, but I don't get wet. I don't lubricate. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the two are very different. You can be very aroused and not lubricate. And I think as women, we put so much importance on being wet. Um, and it's, it's really not about arousal at all. No, I've been very aroused. Like I've been lubricating while I'm doing dishes <laughs> and I'm obviously not sexually aroused. And then that I'm very sexually aroused and it's dry. And I think, you know, am I stressed out? Am I having an allergic reaction and on an antihistamine on a, on an antibiotic or some of us like Betty, she never lubricated. Right. Ever. Yeah. So lube enhances pleasure it, because it reduces friction. So even if you're wet, there's nothing like a good, slippery, oily lubricant. So Carlin, what do you recommend? Betty's favorite and what we use in the workshops is almond oil. Mm -hmm. You want a good, clean, organic oil because you're putting it on a mucous membrane. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. really read in, uh, ingredients and chemicals. And for your self uh, pleasure practice, use an oil. Oil increases sensation. Almond oil is thick. Your body will naturally absorb it so you don't have to clean up afterwards. And oil increases sensation. Absolutely. Absolutely. And almond oil has a very light, almost no scent at all. And so then you can really smell your own scent, which is just so delicious. Um, this particular almond oil uh, is available on Amazon, um, but you can also find it in your store. And you can cook with a good quality almond oil too. So it does a double duty. <laughs> and it's interesting because some um, women prefer coconut oil because it's um, thinner um, many men prefer coconut oil because it's very thin and they want a little more friction if they've been circumcised. And I know you got a jug of coconut oil. Yes. <laughs> I know you got it at Costco. Right. Well, because I cook with it. Um, coconut oil is actually my preferred choice for lubricant because it is solid at room temperature. And so it doesn't spill. Like I, I just keep this in my kitchen. I bake with it. I cook with it. I scoop some out and put it in a small container at my bedside. And what I like about it is that it's solid when you scoop it out in your hand. But when I put it on my vulva, it melts with my body heat. So it and doesn't I, slip through your fingers because it's oil. Exactly. Exactly. So... That's, you know, and it gets, it gets smooth and slippery too. Once it hits your body. I love the smell of coconut. It's more fragrant and it has more of a taste than the almond oil. But since I love coconut, it just enhances the whole thing for me. So, you know, get a big jug. Of course, it's in smaller containers. Um, is, as long as it's something edible, it's, it's safe for your body. If you can eat it, you can put it in your vagina. Yes. Okay. Okay. That said, avoid anything with sugars in it or flavors. I don't like the warming lubes. I mean, really anything that you get, like the Astro Glide, um, they're sticky and you have to wash them off afterwards. If you need a water-soluble lubricant, and that means you're having um, protected sex with condoms. Uh, so use oil for your self-pleasure. And then mm -hmm. if you're having casual sex or sex with multiple partners, get up liquids. I know, Laura, you don't have your bottle handy. No, but, but <laughs> the Sliquid brand is excellent. And they have a lot of choices um, within the Sliquid brand, too. There's water base, um, which, you know, it's kind of like if you think of lube as a continuum of, of slipperiness and slickness. Water base is at one end. 
because after a while it it starts to get sticky and you're going to want to put more on. It doesn't seem to last long. The trick with water base is instead of adding more lube is just wet it and then it'll get its its slickness again. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's at one end. And then you can add on like sometimes there's a water based gel at the other end of the non oil lubes is silicone lube. And that is much more slippery. And that's what I would recommend if you are postmenopausal or if you're doing anal sacs, that will retain its, its slickness. So uh, yeah, silicone. And then there's also a hybrid lube that's part water base and part silicone base. Some sex toys, if you have a silicone sex toy, it may break down if you're using a, a, a not a good quality silicone lube. Silicone is not regulated by the FDA. So toy manufacturers and lube manufacturers can say something is silicone, but we really don't know enough about it. So um, a rule of thumb by some is to avoid using pure silicone lube with a silicone toy. I've never had a problem. I always choose good quality silicone uh, toys and good quality lube, but that's something to consider. So think of water base at one end and then silicone at the other, then with um, a hybrid lube that's part water, part silicone. Absolutely. And when you apply lube, put it up on your clit, then down by the vaginal opening, like lube everything up. You don't mm -hmm. just put it at the vaginal opening. And also you can get a lube shooter. Yes. They're like, it looks like a little thin syringe without the needle. And then you can inject the lube into the vagina. Mm -hmm. um, when I was having sex with um, partners for the first time, I would always like lube up their penis <laughs> with oil if I wasn't having protected sex, if we were fluid bonded. And I felt like putting it on my partner's genitals and then having it on mine at the same time mm -hmm. made it better because the lube doesn't go in. Also, now that I'm aging, I put a little vitamin E oil mm -hmm. in my oil jug. So I, I pour a little in, put a little vitamin E, shake it up. And this really helps to keep everything kind of moist and lubricated. I also use this, like I just was taking an antibiotic and I got a yeast infection, everything kind of thinned out a little bit. And I just slapped some vitamin E oil and have a nice vulva massage and everything was better. Mm -hmm. I feel like oil is the gold standard. So if you're fluid bonded, if you're masturbating, go for the oil. Um, and if you need to make other choices, a good quality Sliquid or other such brand, not an Astroglide or a KY, just because it's full of chemicals. 